Hey guys, Strong Style Studios back here again. It's Alex, Noah, and the Orange Dream is back again, folks. Justin is here the at Orange long Dream, last. That's my new. That is your nickname. You, you weren't here to debate it, so it's stuck. Alrighty. All right. Uh, we're doing a <laughs> preview. We're doing a preview video for uh, the ROH 11th anniversary show, which is going to be on iPay-per-view this Saturday. Myself and Noah will be attending it live in Chicago. The Orange Dream will not be attending due to personal issues. He can't go, so. Uh, We'll we'll be be trying to watch it. Yeah, he'll he'll be uh on stream. he'll be watching on on live and he'll be it's like that could have been me or there. Well, hopefully we'll be able to do a review a live review and then well we'll, we'll do we'll, Justin we'll, can do the um, actual actual and, yeah yes well I, I like to do we do like a live thoughts and then we'll do a uh, we'll debate that later. later yeah whatever yeah. all right so we're gonna go down the card for you the first match we don't obviously don't know what the match is gonna take place when but first match on the card is C and C. Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander versus the team of Scum, Jimmy Jacobs and Steve Carino. Um, this match should be good. I, I don't expect this to be a... This probably might be the weakest match on the card, just because of... Uh, of uh, just. I don't think they're going to get a lot of time. Obviously, it's just there to give, I think, Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander a win. I see them going over here, just to further set up the idea that Scum's uh, falling apart. Um, I, I look forward to this match. I think it oh, should be Yeah, fun. I have no problem with it. Um, I think that... Scum, they're going to be really fun, especially live. I yeah, oh, they're they're, they're, they're always fun. fun. Yeah. <sighs> For me, I wouldn't be surprised to see Scum win. I know that they're trying to add new members. Maybe we'll see a yeah. run-in, maybe something okay. like that. Okay, I agree. Um, but it should be good. Like you said, I, I, I think it'll be kind of like a TV quality. Match. Yeah, it, it's probably going to be more about the angle than the match. So I would probably. assume, yeah. 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 Like, um, like Noah said over there, uh, the whole thing about this new member, it's going to come into play somehow. I, yeah. Pretty sure in this match, and uh, I think um, this could really go either way. I don't think a loss really hurts either team here. It's not mm -hmm. a you know mm -hmm. big okay. one of their bigger matches, but I I'll say Scum with a new member interfering. But I can see CNC winning as well. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a six-man match that was added not too recently. Uh, we have God's last gift or God's gift or whatever his name is, QT Marshall, who mm -hmm. we all hate here. Um, Pretty much. We'll be facing against C a uh, ACH to Darius Thomas. Adam Page, Mike Seidel, and Silas Young. A lot of talent in this match. Yeah, um, well, you got guys like ACH, who they just signed, apparently. Yes, uh, yeah, we, we talked about that last time when you weren't here. Yeah. You know, did you say this is a six-man tag or a six-man six -man match? Six-man okay. match. It's a six-man six uh, mayhem, mayhem match, yeah. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you, well, you got ACH in there, who's always entertaining. You got Silas Young, and you got Tadarius Thomas, so it's at least three. Who, who else did you say was in there? Um, Adam Page, Page Tadarius Thomas, uh, Mike Seidel. Mike Seidel, yeah. Yes. Um, and Marshall Cannon at Russell. Yeah, Marshall's pretty much the weak link there. This should be a fun, you know, yeah, I've, mat, this will, match. This will definitely be fun for the live audience, just like, a, like the crazy stuff they're going to do. I expect ACH to probably have the, probably the better showing because they just signed and they want to give him a nice little, mm -hmm. you know, little rub, I think. Yeah. I think this is going to be a fun match. I think it'll be pretty indie-rific. Oh, yeah. It's going um, to be indie. Everybody's going to get their shit in. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, it, it kind of reminds me of old ROH matches. You yes. Know, that, where they start the card off with either they just throw in a bunch of indie guys, or, yeah, four yeah. ways or six ways, and I like those matches. Yeah, like, actually, I, I, I kind of miss those. Yeah, I, I mean, this might might open too. I I, I completely forgot about it when I was. So uh, this might be the opener, which I'd be fine with that too. That'd be oh, a yeah. really great way to start again. Well, if you recall, um, Michael Elgin, one of his first breakout matches was winning a six-man mayhem match, and there wasn't a ton of big name talent in that yeah, match. Yeah, but a lot but, of people liked that one. But it was really good, and it got him already over. Mm -hmm. So maybe this will get. Who do you guys think is going to take this? I got. I got to say, ACA just because he just signed with the company. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they want to give him kind of a, a big, you know, not a big win, but like get him a nice little rub, like you know, welcome into the company. I think. So I think that'd be smart. And like, I don't see um, Silas Young is in some of the company. Marshall has been nothing in the company, and uh, Tadarius Thomas just had a match with Kevin So ACH is kind of the one that needs the rub right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tadarius Thomas win yeah, just because of the I way they're Thomas. trying to. Um, I mean, he he needs to bounce back after his loss to Steve. Okay. Do I think he's the guy that should win? No, I think ACH would be a better choice. But mm -hmm. I think that they've invested more into Darius Thomas already. And that I think they he, wanna... he's at the point that he needs some kind of win, really, because okay. he's just mm -hmm. been doing underdog. He beat Rhino, but he's done a lot of underdog yeah. type stuff. Okay, so. uh, that's fine. Uh, next up, we have Charlie Haas versus B.J. Whitmer in a notice qualification match. Um, these guys have had a feud for quite a while. I think it goes back to Glory by Honor when they kind of started this whole feud between like World's Greatest Tag Team and. Uh, 
Titus, Titus and BJ. And, yeah, so kind of interesting that they've kind of tossed Titus aside and brought in just made it just BJ and Charlie. But uh, I I have a feeling this match is going to be you know a good no DQ match. Uh, don't expect it to be spectacular, but uh, you know these guys are good brawlers. I think so. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I think this will be better than most Charlie Haas matches you've seen recently yeah. in Ring of Honor. This this does have a story behind it. Um, I think Haas is been a little, maybe a little more entertaining since he's maybe changed the yeah, yeah, slightly. Some people, some people really like the Charlie Haas is pissed off at videos. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't really. They were, they were cute at first, but it's just like they released like so many, they released like one a day almost, it seems yeah. like, and just, it's way too much. But yeah, I mean, um, hopefully they just go at it and just brawl, yeah. and it's just, it's probably just going to be one of those brawl around, and then, you know, mm -hmm. just do a few crazy spots at the end, and then yeah. call it good. What do you guys... Uh, I think Charlie House is going to win this just because I think that Ring of Honor sees something building up for him. Like, they're going to do something with him. Yeah. So they're they're building him up for something. I don't know what, but uh, I see him going over here. Or going over here. Yeah, I think Charlie's probably going to win. Uh, BJ is one of those guys that you could he could lose every show, and I don't think it would matter to people. No. no. People know he's not going to be a main eventer, but he, mm. can, he can go out there and have good matches with just about anybody. Yeah. Um, decent enough matches. Um, I think this is about as good of a match as you can get from Charlie. Yeah, I mean, it, on paper. It, it, it plays his strength, right? Which he, There's which nobody else on the roster that I'd be like, okay, and I want to see It's that. a guy, importantly, that Haas likes to just control his matches a lot and yeah. they become boring. Whitmer's a guy who can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Haas yeah. and, you know, How not many? take his bullshit so much. Yeah. <laughs> right. How many F-bombs do you think they're going to drop in this match? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, gonna we're gonna, it's going to be a lot of them. Yeah. The only thing is, is... Uh, I, it's funny you mentioned Titus, but I'm I'm kind of glad that they're moving Haas away from Titus. That yeah, storyline has it, been it, played it, out for so never long. Never went anywhere. Either. Nah, it, it was it was it took forever. And for Titus, really hurt. Titus and Haas, they have no chemistry. Really, no, they really kill, yeah. killed off any momentum Titus. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's going to recover. I hope he does. I, mean, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so they too. need to just move him into something completely yeah, different. Yeah. Somebody different program. Somebody different. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next up we have Adam Cole defending his world television title against the winner of the top prospect tournament, Matt Tarvin. Uh, Taven. 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 Sorry, I always forget how that guy's name. Uh, I've never seen this guy wrestle. I've heard some good things from other people. I've heard some kind of like, hey, it's okay from other people. So um, I expect this to be all right. I, I expect Adam to, you know, look good here. I think Adam can really carry anyone to a good match. And um, I expect him to get a big win here just to set up, because they obviously are going to have him versus Hardy on television the next night, so it's uh, pretty obvious that Adam Cole's not losing tonight. Right. Um, I've, heard, I've actually heard mostly good things about Taven. I've seen a little bit of him. Um, I know he's a very young prospect. He's considered an up-and-comer. This is a good chance on pay-per-view against Adam Cole to prove himself, so I guess we'll see what he's made of. Yeah, I think uh, I haven't seen very much of Taven. What I've seen he does look like, like you said, he's a young guy. Yeah. Um, I think he's got some upside for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this match should be good. I don't see this as a 11th anniversary type yeah, match. Yeah, they, they, they definitely. pay per match. They, they kind they of. Have, uh, I think, I think it would have been better if they probably booked the Hardy match. Uh, just because. It would have made sense because yeah. of the last eye pay per view. Yeah, you know, it, it just would have made more sense. I don't know why they're putting it on television, you know. And uh, Hardy's going to be there. He's, he's doing an autograph signing, which, mm -hmm. who, who, you know, who, who wants to get his autograph? <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, you so I don't. no, I I I, I I I I'd like to go. I don't over, either. I would like to go over there and say, hey, fuck you to him, but uh, I'm not I'm not an asshole. So, but well, uh, I might. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I I expect Matt Hardy to make an appearance and you know probably attack Adam after the match or some shit, you know. But like I said, I I really wish they just done Matt Hardy versus Adam Cole on paper just because and end it. Yeah, <laughs> and then it just because I think it would have been a better, more satisfying to get Adam Cole the big win on on pay per view than ever compared to television. But right. yep. whatever. But with what we're given. Adam Cole, I see him winning that match. Yeah, definitely. And I, I'm sure it'll be a solid oh, match. Oh, yeah, you know, no question. But it, like, I, like I said, I think it, it really has a house show feel. Yeah. yeah. I, I imagine this is probably the match that uh, comes back after for intermission from. I expect this to be like the one that, like, wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a good way to get the crowd going again. Uh, then we have uh, Elgin, Michael Elgin, and Roderick Strong taking on each other in a two out of three falls match. This, I expect to be a show stealer. This this is mo the match I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, this should be amazing. This is going to be special. I mean, uh, Elgin and, I, I think you saw that in, at uh, Final Battle, Elgin and Roddy have a lot of great chemistry together. They work very, very well together. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that just comes with them tagging for so long, or just it's just a natural blend of their styles, but man, these guys really just know how to, how to bring out the best in each other, I thought. 
And uh, the only problem I had with their final battle match was didn't go very long, and I just thought the finish was a little... Yeah, the finish was a little yeah. But I just think this match is going to be awesome. Uh, I expect Elgin to get a big win here. And, like, I think that 2013 is going to be his year to really become, take up that next level. Which, yeah, you know, I think it, that's, that's a good point. He yeah. could become the top, possibly the top guy. I, I would not Elvis be surprised if 2013 ends with Michael Elgin, if not in the running for the world title, but maybe the world ring of our champion. I yep. wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Uh, um, well, go ahead, Justin. Okay, I was just going to say... Um, I'm looking forward to this match a lot because I felt like the final battle match was really good and they brought the intensity was there, mm -hmm. but they didn't quite have the ability to tell the story they wanted to tell. So I think this match, they're going to have two out of three falls, they're going to have plenty of time for storytelling, yeah, and they're going to bring the intensity in. I think this is going to be, that match was just kind of the tip of the iceberg, this will be the... Yeah. The main event. The yeah, full, this is going to be... The whole shebang. I'm, I'm just curious how much time they're going to give him. Because both guys, Elgin's got great great endurance. So does Roddy. Roddy's got like some of the best endurance yeah, in wrestling. Yeah, two of the best. And uh, so I'm just curious how much time they're going to give these guys to just go out there and you know do what they do best. And I would not be surprised if this is the, uh, the semi-main event, actually. No, I wouldn't either. And mm -hmm. with this match... You know, a lot of people get down on Roddy about his charisma and all this. Oh, but that, given that, if he goes out, he's proven that he can go out and have long matches, but that can captivate you. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, he, he might not be the most charismatic guy, mm -hmm. but he's man, he can grab an audience. Yeah. I mean, look back at the Ringmaster's Challenge. That's that was a great match. That match was fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure we can go back to his matches with Dragon and everybody. Yeah. You yeah. know, anybody can wrestle right. with Dragon. But still, <laughs> to, to go to an hour-long match and nev never be bored... That's right. That's so and it was edge, the Ringmaster Challenge, especially just edge of your seat at oh, the yeah, end, that. not knowing who's going to win. Before going to the match, I was kind of just like, I just want to see a good match. I don't really care who wins, but that got so dramatic. I was just like, every near falls. Like, right, oh. we're, we're starting to ramble a little bit, but you know, yeah. we, we could talk all day about how good Roddy. I think that it's nice to uh, to heap some praise on the people that are forgotten. Oh yeah, he, Roddy's definitely one. Of he's the, one of them. He's very overlooked, I think. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have a dream tag team match of Forever Hooligans: uh, Alex Kozlov and Rocky Romero taking on the. American Wolves, Eddie Edwards, and Davey Richards. Uh, I expect this match to be... This, this Again, this could be a show stealer. I, I expect this to be absolutely phenomenal. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be one of the best matches on the card. And uh, could be up there for Ring of Honor match of the year. Come, I'm coming up early, you know. Definitely going to be one that people talk about for a while, I think. And uh, I, like I said, this just, again, this reminds me of old school Ring of Honor where they bring in some hot guys from from outside of the company and just give them a big match just to you know for the for the fans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah this match i think is going to be i don't know if it's going to be at that level that next level just because i think that this is going to be one of those tag matches that is just at breakneck speed yeah they, they're not <laughs> yeah. going to slow down i don't know if there's going to be that much psychology i think it's just going to be guys flying at each okay. other okay i i agree and that. don't get me wrong i love those matches oh, yeah. those matches are so much fun and i think if they position this right on the card, I think it'll be perfect. Yeah. No matter what they come up with, this could be a match. I think like this would be the match I, I would actually probably want to have right before an admission. Give a crowd like a nice big match right before an admission, and then you know let them rest and then regroup them. So I wouldn't be. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. No. Well, I was gonna say though. You said there's probably not gonna be enough room for psychology, but there's probably gonna be nice little moments in this yes. match because mm -hmm. you have. These guys are very familiar with each other. Uh, um, you got Romero and uh, Richards are former tagging partners, so there's going to be yeah. some good exchanges between those guys. Mm -hmm. That's Kozlov's going to be doing his usual heel antics. If we do not see a Russian a Russia chant and the Russian stomp with the hat, I'll be disappointed. Oh, I will, I will want my money back. That's sure. great every time. <laughs> that that, that so makes cool. me laugh every single time. So, yeah, I expect this to be just a great... I'll call it an exhibition, a great exhibition okay, of these guys' yeah. skills. Uh, I, I, think, I see the American Wolves going over here big time. Yep, though. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Just a way to you know put over the, the tag division, which I think is going to get a huge push this oh, year. Yeah, and this is going to help. Oh, yeah. And I hope this opens the floodgates for more outside talent. Absolutely. Because yeah. it can't hurt. I mean... <laughs> Can we get Okada, please? Okada, please. You know. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's a bit much. Dream big. Dream big, okay? Yeah. All right, and then we ha the other match we have is for the ta world ROH World Tag Team Titles between the Briscoes, them boys, and Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Um, I like this match a lot just because it gives Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish a big chance, a big opportunity for them to mm -hmm. really cement themselves as a top tag in Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think it's just they're going to do great against the Briscoes. The Briscoes, I think, are one of those teams that just they can have a great match with anyone. 
Definitely. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Definitely. You, you know, we're going to talk about like workhorses like Roddy. Briscoes are definitely like the workhorses of the, ta of the tag team division. Absolutely. You know, I I don't think I've For ever... For 11 years now. Yeah, years, yeah. <laughs> They've been here since day one. Yeah. I was going to say, um, I, I keep seeing this Red Dragon team, maybe not in, like, obvious ways, but I keep seeing just little things that they're doing that show me that they're improving and their chemistry is improving. Yeah. And they're working well together, um, just getting better, better at um, communicating and getting the flow of the match right and everything mm -hmm. like that. And the, the Briscoes are going to help them tremendously yeah. with that as well, because those guys are veterans. They know how to put a match together better than anybody else in the tag team ranks. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so this will help. Uh, this will help uh, Red Dragon out a lot. And uh, I got to say right now, Kyle O'Reilly this year has improved a ton over last year. I think a lot last year a I lot of agree. people were yeah. really negative on him. He's improved a lot this year. I mean, he's got me really excited to see what he does in this this year. Mm -hmm. You know, a guy that I've always felt was underrated was is Bobby Fish. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch on the fact that he has really turned around his mic skills. Yeah, yeah, that's a big he's, deal. Like, cause he's actually he kind was, of funny. And <laughs> yeah, he is. Funny. He, he yeah. reminds me of like an almost like an Austin Aries light. You know, like a, not, he looks. Exactly. He, he looks a lot like Aries. He, he, he kind of carries himself like Aries. You know, and that's that's a you know that's not an insult or you know, and he's very very good. I think you know he, he definitely has that charisma that I think he can carry. Well, I think that was the one thing that was kind of missing from his game. Really, was people, the knock on him was that he didn't have the charisma. And I think he's. Developing that, I, yeah, and he's, he's better he's got, at that. So. And, but to his credit, I mean, when I remember his old stuff, his it wasn't like he just had a he needed to you know spice up his charisma. There was almost none. There no, was, it was none. Just, it was just a collection of moves, really. right? And just when I, when he started talking and and even when we went to the show live and saw yeah. him and he was communicating with the audience, yeah, he was, he, yeah. he mm -hmm. was talking while he was in the ring and on the mm -hmm. apron. Man, that just brings so much yeah. to his matches. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I think that, and I think him, he is elevating Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, okay, I, I agree. Yeah. All right. And uh, who do you see winning this match? Ob uh, pretty obvious, I think. Yeah, Briscoes. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a great match. And no questions. Close, definitely. All right. Then we have the main event, which is going to be Mr. Wrestling, Kevin Steen, defending his ROH World Title against Jay Lethal. This is a tough. This match. is this mm. is probably the toughest match to predict. I think this a lot of things are going into this match, and yeah. I'm. I'm very excited because I just I literally do not know what could happen. Uh, we could be seeing Jay Lethal win. We could be seeing Jay Lethal turn heel. We could be seeing Kevin Steen turn face. You don't know. I, I honestly do not know. There's the uh, the possibilities are infinite. Almost yeah, for it, the for the type of, like endings they could do, the way they could book this. It's yep. just you don't some bookings you can see a mile away. This one I have no idea yeah. how they're gonna. And end just this. again, this is the kind of thing we like from our wish. Like it's the unpredictability. You have mm -hmm. no idea what you're gonna get. Right, and but you know it's gonna be exciting. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think these two guys have worked very well. I, I didn't see their whole match of killer Rings, but I saw like a lot of it. It's just like I see a lot of great chemistry between them. I think. Steen works very well with the with the high flyers and light got ladder guys. Really sell their offense, and I, I just think that they work very well together. I think this match is going to be awesome. I, I have no doubt about it. Yeah, the, I mean, I saw the Killer Instinct match, and it was a very good match. But the um, finish, yeah, I've finish. Been... But the thing is, I I did see things out of the finish that I liked because they because the finish brought out the intensity in both yeah. guys. And we're going to see more of that in actually within the match uh, this time. Yeah. So I think it's going to. It's oh. it's gonna be awesome. I I, yeah. I I don't know who's gonna win though, and like I I think we're gonna see Jay Lethal win this one. I I think it, I think it's the right time, and I just think that they're gonna be. I I see a heel turn coming. I just see that happening mm -hmm. for some reason. I wouldn't be surprised. I think that if you're gonna put the belt on Lethal as a face mm -hmm. now, I mean it's now. It's, oh, it's yeah, now yeah. or never. Yeah, yeah now or never. Yeah. Um, if he turns. You know, after the match, you build him as a heel could for build, a while. Yeah, and, and he could still recover. Yeah. Um, either way, I would like to see a heel turn. I've talked to you guys about this. Where well, well, well share your thoughts that you have you've had on this because well, I, I like your I like your thoughts on it. I think that he, as a face, he's kind of watered down. He's run his course, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of the problem with him is that he needs a little bit of that attitude, a little bit of that machismo, <laughs> the blood the blood machismo. Machismo. and I'm not <laughs> yes. saying he needs to come back as the full as macho man, yeah. macho man yeah. but I think, you know, so have him turn swagger. on the crowd, and be, yeah, a little swagger and, you know, come out and, be, little, and little, say, give, give him a little bit of that Ric Flair ass that he had when he was doing the whole feud with Ric Flair, you know, give a little bit of imitation, you know, Let's talk about how he's beaten all these big names and, you know, and he could come out and say something about how he changed himself so he could fit into ROH and be the athlete that the crowd expected, 
But you know what? He's done with that. He's back. Because yeah, he he's kept getting screwed, you know, yeah, out of the right. title. And now he's doing going to do it his way, mm -hmm. and he's going to do it with machismo. Yeah. And I think that that would be mm -hmm. it. It it'd get over really oh, big. Yeah. And you know, hey, you know, to his credit, he's beaten a lot of big names. He's beaten Samoa Joe, Loki, Homicide, AJ Styles, mm -hmm. Ric Flair, um, Kurt Angle. You know, he's beaten a lot of big names. Uh, Davy Richards. You know, so it's like he's got a lot to like. You know, throw a lot of names to throw out there that I'm like, oh, I've beaten this guy. I'm better than this guy. So, you know, you, he has a lot to, like, give us some mixture here. You can say this, I've been all these guys, but look at all the title opportunities I've had yeah. that were fair. And yeah. So I think there's a lot of ammunition for him to be a heel. And, he, uh, and he, the thing is, he does have the ability to cut those promos, too, as yeah. a heel. Mm -hmm. I think that it right now his promos are, they're, they're not bad. It's just like, they're kind of whatever. basic. Yeah, it's, it's basic. It's, basic. Cutter, it's almost like you know, he's face. whining that which yeah. he's, he's got like I've seen like some more like where it's kind of like more of aggressive and like I like that and like I think that's one reason I think him as a heel would just yeah, it, would play a little bit better. I don't I know if it's his most recent promo, but he cut one recently on ROH like his last promo before the yeah I saw that was too. pretty good. It was more impassioned. I thought, yeah, so it was it was better. So we'll see. But yeah, we'll see. But uh, as far as the title picture goes, I think Steen will retain this. I like Elgin to beat Roddy, and I'm thinking Elgin might be getting set up as the next champion. Maybe I would, not I, yet, I've said before, I think that him him and Steen at, at Supercard of Honor and Elgin win the belt there, that'd be awesome too. I just I think that maybe Lethal's time has come. It, and if he doesn't win it here, guaranteed he'll turn. Yeah, either way, I'd like to see Lethal and Elgin have some kind of interaction down the road. Yeah. So. Have they had a match? Already? I think that by the end of the year, you're gonna like we've said about Elgin, but I think Cole's gonna be. Cole. Up oh yeah, too. Cole's definitely up there. He he should be up there. If yeah, they know what's good. Kyle O'Reilly's up there. Moon is way up there too. I mean, his match with Dave Richards at the Fire tonight too. I mean, that elevated him a lot. I think. I think that by the end of the year, those two are gonna be him and uh, Bobby Fish are gonna be in the, the, the holding the titles, maybe probably the tag belts, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we're gonna see Cole. And Elgin in the title picture. Yeah. So if we're going to see a lot of young guys yep. up in title and main event spots. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm all That's for what they it. need. Yep. And uh, we're seeing a lot, of, a lot of great stuff from Ring Around this year, and I'm, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that wraps up for now. Uh, we'll be having the pre review out probably on or early next week sometime. But that's it for now, guys. Make sure you guys order the pay per view, ROH.com. It's definitely going to be worth your money. I guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, take care, guys. Bye.